excited episode of Is It Really Reality? Guys, we have another great show for you today. Oh, man, guys. You know, I just want to say, guys, you know, I just feel, you know, and I don't care what anybody thinks. I feel Mucka and Latoya is some of the biggest manipulators you can meet, okay? Now, they go and do a Q&A, okay? You sitting over there and you're talking, hey, I reached out to Mucka, I let my ex see it, and I guarantee you, Cryer didn't think nothing that she was going to be that kind of person because the sweet girl you was acting like, Latoya, okay? But Toya, didn't you do the same thing to Cryer? Wasn't you under his uh uh uh, uh post on Instagram like probably way before you met him and start talking to him? So uh, you did the same thing to Mucka. I, I think there's a plot you use to get men because when you and Cryer contact Mucka, I feel from hearing you talk, you was already saying in your head, "I gotta have this guy. She don't deserve him. I want him." I think that's what it was. So you go on, you say, hey, my ex approved it. Like, cry, you might as well say, cry approve you, you guys' relationship. I don't know what you're talking about. All right? And then you say, okay, we, we didn't start talking until after their relationship was over, him and Erica. All right? You said, cry approved the conversation that you had about Erica with him. He was right there, he approved it, okay? Now, after you and Cry, you say you go back and you find him and you reach out to him again, okay? Because you say he was going through things. You was going through things, okay? But I tell you, what was he going through? He wasn't going through anything. A chick told him he, she was pregnant, okay, Erica? She said she was pregnant. And, and that's what he's going through? Hey, it take two to tangle, bro. You laid up there and you got her pregnant. So what are you going through? You guys was in a relationship. You know? So I don't understand what you're talking about, Latoya. You're trying to make everything look right, but you're evil. You're evil. I see straight through you. You say, oh, it was love at first sight. All the same stuff you said about Cryer. Laughing and blushing and... I think if anybody that showed you some attention, you go up the wall for it, Toya. You go up the wall for them. I don't care if man, any of your subscribers, anybody that listen to you, uh, <laughs> they haven't experienced life. They haven't seen your type before, and this will be a first experience for them when they learn you, okay? Because I've seen your type plenty of times. And then you go and say, possible baby, listen, you wasn't in the bedroom with them, Toya. What is wrong with you? Every man you meet on the corner, you're so f far in love with him. Oh, you're in love with him. You can't be in love that quick. You just met him. You was doing the same stuff for crying. I think that's her way, guys, of getting guys and, and making them feel special because she act like she's so far in love with him. I think she used this on everybody. I think any guy that she ever talked to would tell you the same, guys. They will tell you the same about her. Oh, yeah, man, she said that same stuff to me. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is the love of my life. I never found someone like this before. Oh, oh, oh. Latoya, come on, man. And Maka. Maka, only thing you're thinking about is getting your real estate uh, career off the ground. I know you're a type, Maka. You're one of those guys, you know, because, you know, real estate, I mean, it's not jumping like that for everyone. You have to have, you have to build your clientele. You have to, you know, like I look at you as you have just look like a starter. You know, you're trying to get your feet wet. You're going to seminars. You're doing everything you can think of to try to get your real estate off the ground. You want to be known as the big realtor. But see, guys, one thing I want to say is, listen, once this stuff blow over, that is the real beginning of their relationship. When people stop talking about them guys, that's going to be the beginning. When it get all dull and boring, nobody saying anything on social media, let's see if Muck can still be there or he go where he can get his fame off on. You know? 
This guy, Mucka, man, I tell you, cry, he done gave this guy two girls and a YouTube career. This guy is, I mean, he is, is something special. This guy is the biggest manipulator just like Toya. I mean, they made for each other. There, yeah. oh my God. And did you guys hear her in, in, in the Q&A video when she said, hey, I got your back. You know what I'm saying? It ain't all about who can, who, who got the money. If I got the money, I will pay the bills and help you get back on your feet and all that stuff. I told you Mucka is already plotting up on her. She's gonna, I'm telling you, she's gonna be back in about uh, probably a couple months. The way Mucka moved, Mucka is moving faster than I thought it was gonna move. Oh gosh, Mucka's no good. I tried to reach out to Erica. Because she's right. I tried to reach out to Damien to tell him he was right. Walk around, I went everything I had. Now me and my kids are in a one bedroom apartment. Because they foreclosed on my house because I took out a loan for one. Y'all, please help me. Damien and Erica, you listen, please reach out because this guy, I, we don't want to hear that. Okay? Because you got the same line every man you meet, Toya. You were just doing that, what, four weeks ago over Cryer? Come on, man. Listen, guys. Let me tell you something. When you guys come on as content, whatever kind of creators, uh, Latoya, uh, Cryer, and Erica is doing, let me tell you guys something. And you guys know this. I'm gonna, and, and, and listen, to the fans of these guys, you got to stop listening to the bull, okay? I sit and watch these guys. These guys make the T channels come. I'm going to tell you that. So they can sit around and say, hey, well, let's listen to the T channel. We don't care nothing about them. When the T channel stop talking about them, they go crazy. Rather, you guys want to believe it or not, they just using you for bait. They using you for bait. Okay, they're not talking about Go over there and mess with them T channel. Baby. Get them spammed up and let them start back talking about us. Because without the T channels, their name don't mean anything. You got to think about it, guys. Just like in, a, in any entertainer, they want to get in the top magazines. They want the magazines, you know, and everything to be talking about them. They want the 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 uh the, the uh entertainment tonight and all the good stuff to be talking about them, whether it's bad or good, guys. This is how you build your success. This is how you get your fame. So for anyone to say they shut off the T channel, there, you guys, do, do not listen to that stuff. Look at Jay Michael. The minute all the TV channels stop talking about him, he's going crazy again. Because they need that exposure. Listen, all you YouTube creators, you're nothing without the TV channels. If the TV channels don't bring your name up, half of the people that follow you don't want even know who you is. Because your content is not that good. Think about it, guys. It's a billion people on YouTube doing mukbang. What's going to make me watch your mukbang? Oh, maybe the TV channel got some stuff going on around the box and they're going to send me there. Not saying that happened for everyone, guys, but the majority. Guys, just think about it. How many channels you visit now because of the T-channels reporting them? So, listen, that story is turning old to me, guys. Y'all got to, you guys got to stop falling for it. Because they want, think about it. Why would someone come on and say, hey, I don't want the T-Channel, yeah, you don't, I don't listen to them anymore, because they want the T-Channel to report them more. Okay? And somebody came in my comment and said, hey, you, you ain't making them bigger by talking about them. I don't care, I'm making myself bigger. They're news. They're, they are news. I'm going to talk about them, you, you're right. I might make them bigger, but hey, I'm going to get myself there too by talking about them. Because that's what I am. I'm a... I'm a I'm a tea blogger, people. Understand that. But these guys are the biggest manipulators you can find. And if you can't see through them, you've never been at your front door. Okay, now I will say, I think, you know, they're a good match. They're a good match. But the way they're going about it, it don't look good, man. It don't look good, man. It, it just don't. You know, because Toya, 
You're trying to make a wrong look right. This guy wasn't going through anything, Toya. Only thing he was going through is that if Erica came over there and showed you in her face, they took a pregnancy test and everything. Cryer said he hasn't been with that. I don't believe Cryer was with her. I, 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 you know, Erica hasn't been feeling Cryer like that for a long time. I'm going to tell you that now. Only reason Cryer is around now because she needs a shoulder to cry on. Everybody needs somebody, and I'm not looking down on her for that. Because everybody needs a shoulder to cry on when you got treated bad. And Erica, we know you are not the most perfect person. But I'm going to tell you like this, guys. I call it how it is. I'm not a bully. Guys, if you've been watching my videos, right? You haven't seen Cry come over and comment. You haven't seen Love by Erica come on and comment. But do that change anything the way I talk about them? No. I call it how I see it. Now, some people will say, hey, Cry came over here. I'm going to, you know, just talk nice about Cry because he came over here or Erica. I'm just saying that, you know, just for say. All right? You get the picture, you know? But I'm not going to do that. And right now, I'm getting on what I see. And, and I see Toya and Mucker are the biggest manipulators. Mucker is trying to get his YouTube career out the ground. Like he said, you weren't coming on for much. You know why you weren't coming on for much? Because nobody was, wasn't watching you. Nobody wasn't checking for you, Mucker. That's why you weren't coming on. Then you, then you see your opportunity when this little chick, Latoya, gets you up in your DM. It goes down in the DM, guys. She hit him in his DM. And he said, hey, she's making nice name. I bet Michael, before he responded to that DM, he went and checked out our so social media and everything. Let me see what this chick is doing over here. Hey, I can get my, you know it. Every time they talk about something, Mucker throw his real estate in there. Mucker is trying to get his real estate. Man, guys, I know, you know, I have a lot of friends that are realtors. And it's not that easy, guys. So Mucker come on and show you how to make you feel like he's this big, you know, global, global realtor. Like, yeah, man, I, I do this and I do that. Come on, man, you, you, you probably don't sell one house a week. It's not that easy, Mucker. It toy you. You looked at this guy for the same reason you looked at Cryer. Not once I heard, and Erica, you too. You too, Erica. Because not once I heard either one of you guys say, Mucker was a handsome guy, and that's what attracted you to him. Both of you guys said the same thing. He got a nice house. He, got, he drives a nice car. I see he got everything together. You wasn't attracted to him by looks or none of that. You don't care about none of that. You was attracted to what he got going on and what you felt you could get out of him. But didn't know you was dealing with somebody that think just like you guys. Marco was saying the same thing about you guys. Oh, shit, you, you know. Oh. Erica got a YouTube. Oh, man, she deal with Cryer. Man, I can, I can get myself off the ground with this. And that's what he did, guys. And then when Erica went, when him and Erica broke up and everything went separate ways, you know what he did? He said, hey, I'm going to try this YouTube stuff on my own. And it didn't go nowhere. And then he get the message from Toya. And I guarantee you, before he even, man, listen, Mucker calculates all his steps. I'm going to tell you that right now about this guy. And I promise you. When he did that, when, when she messaged him, he said, hey, let me see what she got going on first. And then when he seen what she got going on, he said, hey, hey, me and you, you know, let's go on a date. Like, guys, how did that happen? Okay, you reached out to her and you said, hey, are you okay? You're doing right? Y'all were just checking on each other, right? How did it turn into a first date, Toya? That's what I want to know, you know? I don't care about all that stuff you said in the Q&A about, hey, oh, 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 he. You know, you cross the line of disrespect. You know, and we see this stuff happen all the time. That don't mean it's right. You see, you, you, you got to ex. Your ex, you say your ex approved for you to send him a message about his ex. But your ex didn't approve for you to date him. So what are you talking about? Then you go on and say, 
sarcastically speaking to you. Oh, you and Mucker. Oh, I see her. Him and Erica together. They look good. They look happy. I like the video. They're looking good together. To clear up your mess. You know, Cry and Erica don't look good together. Erica don't want that. Erica is over there miserable right now. You know? And Cry, man, I, I, I like you to death, man. But I have to tell her like it is, bro. You know, she need a shoulder to cry on right now. I don't think she want to date you, because if she wanted to date you, she would have just said, hey, we're back together, and that's that. Let Mucka have her, and we're going to raise this baby. If Mucka come in, and he want to play the father, then let him come in. But, you know, she's still unhappy. She don't like this situation that's going on with Mucka and Latoya, okay? Cryer, I know you're trying to win your way back in, but Cryer, man, let me just tell you, it's best for you. To just move on, Cryer. Because, Cryer, you are the one that's going to get hurt in the end, Cryer. Like you do every time, Cryer. It's best for you to just move on. Be a friend and move on. Stop trying to push up on her. Because she don't want that, Cryer. Cryer, she's sitting around. Cryer, I'm going to tell you, the only way you can get Erica is you turn uh, 31 again or something, Cryer. And that's never going to happen. You're too old school for her. You see, Mucka and Toya, you see what? Just pay attention to what they're doing. They're showing you the lavish life. That's what Erica wants. She wants to live that luxury life. She told you right there, hey, you had a BMW and a nice house. and uh, Come on, man. Cry, I'm just giving you what I see, man. I'm on the outside looking in, Cry. You know, sometimes you could be running in that circle so much you won't see what's on the outside. You won't see it from the outside. I'm looking at it from the outside, Cryer. Cryer, soon as she popped that baby out, Cryer, get back on her feet, and life come back together. It's no more for you, Cryer. And I'm just letting you know that. And, and Cryer, now, you can avoid all this happening. If you stop trying to push up on a Cryer, she don't want you, Cryer. She don't want you. Because if she wanted to cry, she would be with you. She would say, hey, I don't care about muck and toy, I'm with Cryer. You know? And she didn't have, she don't, she don't even have to say that. She would have showed us that. Cry, cry, just stop being a fool, Cryer. Please. Okay? Hey, guys, I just came to bring you that like, share, and subscribe. Until next time. Goodbye.